What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I've been meaning to do this one for a while, but I've just been a bit busy. So a while ago, two months ago, I did a video on how to make a hundred bucks online and get paid via your PayPal. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me how to collect emails. What can you offer uh, to the traffic and things like that. So if you haven't seen this video, check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an opt-in form and how to collect emails for your um, email list for your um, subscriber list and autoresponder. So this is kind of what we're talking about here. Um, this is what we mean by the hundred dollar a day method. So you get traffic, and we use solo ads in that video example, and then you have a lead magnet. So you offer something for free. So like uh, five tips on maximizing maximizing profits online, seven tips to making money online, seven tips to creating a powerful website. It really depends on your niche. But I'm talking about the make money online niche because that's usually what solo ads are about. And then you create an opt-in form where you collect emails and then you create a thank you page afterwards where you can have a link to download the um, lead magnet or you can put the lead magnet in your autoresponder. Now in this video we're going to be talking about creating a lead magnet and an opt-in form and then I will do another video on a thank you page so it makes it easier for you to understand um, in the videos. I don't want to confuse everybody with too much information in one video. So we're going to concentrate on opt-in form and lead magnet. So you will need traffic and if you don't know um, how to get traffic you check out the video here of mine just type in how to make a hundred bucks a day online and it should top up, uh, pop up in YouTube and then we need a lead magnet and an opt-in page and I'll show you exactly how to do that and you can literally make an opt-in page within a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and um, get into this right now and build you an opt-in page. So what you will need is an opt-in page creator, a landing page creator. Now I use, I've used tons of other ones uh, I still use a few others, but if you want the easiest one, like I've gone and found the best one for beginners, for people that don't know how to make one or they've never made one before. It's called Igloo. There is a link below and a link on this video if you want to check it out. But it is probably the best one on the market today for beginners. Everything is just click of a button, type in a few things, and you have a form done. It's all ready for you. There's templates and things like that. It is the easiest one I've found to make forms within seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this form, uh, use this program, Igloo, and I'm going to show you how to make an opt-in form and get emails. But first, you need to get a lead magnet. What I would do is go to upwork.com and just get someone to write you something like five tips on this, seven tips on this, ten tips on this. It doesn't have to be full of crazy valuable information, just some information for you to give away for free. You need to give away something for free to get someone's email. It's a lot easier that way. So go to upwork.com or somewhere else where you can find freelancers and get them to write you something. It might cost you a little bit of money, but it doesn't matter because you're going to make that back in the future anyway. So first, what you need to do is you need to have a website for this. Okay? If you don't have a website, get one. Seriously, just get a website. Don't try to use free ones. Just get a website. So you need a website. I have one here that we're going to use. And you need a landing page creator, which I use Igloo. You also need an autoresponder uh, where, you, where the emails go. So I use GetResponse, and there's a free trial below in the description, so you can use um, you can use that if you like. So that's what I use: GetResponse, Igloo, and you need a website. So if you've downloaded Igloo, the first thing you need to do is go to Settings. Okay, very important. And you need to download the Igloo plugin. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to show you the steps we need to take to get this onto our website. Okay. Now I've downloaded it and I'm going to go to plugins on my website. And we're going to go to, I haven't updated this website in a while, but I'm going to add plug, uh, add new, upload plugin. I'm going to get my uh, plugin that we just downloaded. And it's loading. We'll just wait. Okay, I've just installed it because it did take a while. Now you want to activate plugin. And then what you want to do is go to the plugin. And you need to put in the API key. All right, so just enter your email that you signed up with. And then the API key, which is this key here. I'm going to blank mine out. I don't know if I need to or not, but I will anyway. Put in your email. And the key and connect it and this will transfer your um, pages 
to your website okay so now you're ready to transfer a page but you need to make a page first so go back to igloo and go to create and I'm just going to put in opt-in form 3 for example because I think I have a few and then go to new page on the left and you've got all of these templates you can use we're going to go to opt-in which was the first one now here's an example of one that I created um, the other day you guys have probably seen it discover the top Shopify niches that have made us over 235,000 in profit this is a me and my friends have used this niche list you guys have probably seen it you've probably signed up but what I do is I give away an, a list with Shopify niches and I collect emails so very easy to do this took me seconds so I'll show you how to do that now this is a template here so we'll use the same template just for the sake of this video there's different templates and you can also start your own from scratch if you want but the point of this video is for newbies and beginners to make one very fast so you just click select but if you want you can preview the others as well so I'm going to click select and then it will load up for us uh, then oh well in here you can put like codes so your Facebook pixel codes if you want analytics codes things like that and we're going to go edit page now I usually don't have any logos I want to make things very minimal I don't want any distractions so I'm going to delete the logo and all I want to do is put in some text so let's just say we got a lead magnet or ebook like seven tips on how to make money online I'm gonna go I, I usually just keep things the same so let, let's just keep it like this very simple discover the top seven secrets to help uh, let's help you make money online um, and then you can do something like don't miss this right so you, so you get you, you kind of get the example here's my other one I use all capitals actually capitals look looks a lot better so we'll uh, change things some things here and I've just done a lead magnet form opt-in form within seconds like if I didn't have to do this and it would have been done in seconds online don't miss oh don't miss this now we've got that set up you can edit everything on this so we're gonna I'm probably gonna get rid of the background because I usually don't have a background the only reason I have a background on here is because it's kind of to do with Facebook advertising and Shopify so I think it fits the uh, the moment there but I want to get rid of this background I'm just gonna do a color so I'm just going to go, not sure what happened there, but I'm going to go uh, white. So white is probably good. That's what I have on most of my others. And then I can get rid of the border because it kind of looked a little bit, oh, that's the border on the form. So you can go like that. So you can really edit whatever you like with this program. And if you've got the top here, you've got some other settings as well. So page description, page title. Uh, you can upload a favicon and things like that but we're gonna now look at this section here so this is quite important you need to have an autoresponder hooked up to your um, igloo account now I'm just gonna save this and exit I should have done this before but we didn't so what you need to do now is go to settings here on the left and you need to upload an autoresponder so you can do uh, you can use any of these ones that you've got and I use get response so you click on get response and then in your get response account you want to get the API key in the settings um, API and OAuth section and then you put that in here and you can uh, you just name any account so I just named mine online dimes because that's the one I use from the API key and add account and as you can see I've already got it in there now what I want to do is go to uh, my page again so I'm going to go to my campaigns I'm going to go to opt-in form 3 and we're going to edit the campaign I'm going to edit it again now I click on the button down here and I go to style and then up here you can do a few things you can choose what button you want like what opt-in section you want so we can change it to that we can change it back to that we can do whatever we want and we can change the text all sorts of things now I want to go to 
settings here, auto responder. And I want to click get response. And then I'm going to click get response again. Then I'm going to get my list. So my list is online dimes. Right? Very easy. Now, in this one, um, I'm going to put name. I don't want them to put their name in. I find that I get more emails if I don't do that. And I'm going to leave that into your email address. That's this section here. And then here, uh, contest, we don't need to worry about that. You can actually do contest with this. So when people um, sign up with their email on the next page, they'll get a link and they can share that link and they get points and you can give away prizes and stuff. And then redirect on submits. You can redirect it to a thank you page, which we'll talk about in another video, probably the next video. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click no. And then you can change all the text in here. You can, uh, let's just change this here. Get your seven secrets now. If you want, you can leave this little gift here up to you. I actually just noticed this is not a seven. So you can change the text bar guide, just highlighting it if you like, and you can do bold. You can change the color. You can do a few things here. Or you can go to click on it and go to setting our style. And you can do things like change the color here. You can change the button width. You can change where you want it. You can change the font. You can change whatever you want. So there's just so many things. I'm not really going to go through everything because it would take a while uh, font wise. Let's, but let's find something a bit better than that. You can change the font size. You can change the height of the button. You can do capitalization automatically. And then icon. So you can delete the icon. You can add icons. So they've got all these icons here you can add. It's quite cool. Uh, close that. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of customization you can do. Change the color of the button, change the size, change the padding, change everything. But in this video, I don't want to go too into all that detail because you don't need to make a very fancy one for an opt-in form. This is all you need. I probably I don't really like that background now. So I'm probably going to change that border. Uh, where do we? Where do we? How do we change the border? Okay, background uh, border. I don't like that anymore. Right. So this is what I would have: a simple, easy page. And you can do things like animations. Look, I said I wasn't going to do this, but we're getting into it now. So animations. You can do. Um, let's do an animation on this, for example. Go up to here on this little icon here, uh, into animation. I'm going to do a fade. So it fades in. Or you can do coming from the right or the left. And you can do the same for this. So we'll do that into animation. So that will come in with, and this will as well. So they'll both come in. Uh, they'll both come in from the left, right? So you can do things like that. Animations, you can do specific animations just on the button. If you like, I think well, yeah, you, you can. So we'll go style here, button, uh, animate. Oh, you, you can do them on the button, but I'm not really, I haven't really done it. So you'll have to figure that one out. But you can do a ton of stuff. But this is how you collect emails. For your 100, where's our thing here? For this method here, the $100 a day solo ad method. So you get the traffic, you have a lead magnet, which you get from um, Upwork or something like that. You have an opt-in form, you collect emails, and then you have a thank you page. And I'm gonna um, do the thank you page video next. So that, that will be uploaded after this video in a couple of days. But this is for the opt-in form. And it's that easy. So if you wanna know how to do this, get Igloo, there's a link below. There's also a bonus page of mine where you will get bonuses and a discount for this product. It is absolutely amazing. I've searched high and low to find you guys the best product. This product came out last year. Uh, at, at the, um, sorry, about four or five months ago. So I just had to actually stop the video and I exited it out because I wanted to get this back because I'm going to be using this. But what I've done is I've gone through and found the best landing page creator for you guys who are new to this stuff and beginners, very beginner friendly. There's one more step we need to do, very important. You need to get this onto your website. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Very easy to do. So, remember when we were at our site and we uploaded the API key in the, um, in the plugin? 
this is what you do. You go to campaign, and our campaign was, oh, we haven't actually saved it yet. So you want to save your campaign. So go save, down the right here. And then I'll refresh this page, and go to campaign, opt-in form three, and then what page do we want? We want the, uh, this is the one here, opt-in page three. There was another one I messed with before. And titles, this is the title of the page. We'll just put opt-in form three. And we want to override any other titles on the page. And you want to publish it. Import. And this is how easy this is. Now we go to pages, opt-in form three. And there is our page. Just like that, our page is there on our website within clicks of a button. This is why I've chosen this product to show you guys to how to make your forms. And this I'm using this now as well. This came out a while ago. I only just found out about this recently. But I'm using this now for all of my stuff. I'm converting over from all the other programs I use. So if you want to check it out, there is a link below. And that is really it. Very easy to do. Very easy to make these. Uh, let's go back and have a look at a couple of other templates before we go. There was one I saw. This is the one here that I saw before. This one is really nice um, as well. So we'll go to um, new page. And it's this one here. Let's have a preview. Very easy to use as well. Simple. Just change a few things. Change the text and stuff. This will be perfect if you're giving away a free book or a free PDF or something. And it's that easy. It's very clean, very simple. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'll bring up the next video soon of the thank you page. Check this out. It's very good. There's also a bonus link below. If you haven't uh, checked it out, there's a bonus link where you can get a discount on this and you'll get it. Um, and you'll get um, some, my, my personal bonuses. So check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video.